sponsorships i have been fortunate enough where most of mostly all of my videos have been sponsored i actually don't want to sponsor all my videos anymore because i just kind of feel like sometimes i literally just want the video just be about the video not about the sponsorship um but with sponsorships with youtube for the past maybe six to nine months i have probably made eighteen thousand a month yeah. at least sometimes yeah. i can have a, a really good month where i might make like twenty five thousand a month on youtube um, so it's been getting better. There are people who make, of course, millions and a month, <laughs> six figures. Yes, a and, month. Yeah, that's yeah. Crazy. So, but I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm starting to be where I want to be with YouTube. That's really good, especially though. because I don't really like to take um sponsorships or anything like that on Instagram. I like my Instagram to just kind of be my Instagram. Can we, um, um, can we talk about uh can we talk about the um you say you don't you, you about to you want sometimes you want your videos to be just a video, right? Yeah. And do you feel like sponsorships take away from the authenticity of it or if it's not so it I mean it can for me because like if I'm making a video just for the sponsorship, like I'm just like trying to throw together a video to feature a sponsorship, mm. then I feel like it's not authentic. Sometimes a brand will reach out to me and I'll be like, oh, that's perfect because I actually have a video coming up. Like I can just feature you in the video that I had already had planned. But when I'm just taking sponsorships with no idea of what the video is going to be, I'm just taking a sponsorship just to take the money, then it's not authentic. Like I would rather have a video already in the works and then maybe a brand reach out to me. And mm -hmm. then after they reach out to me, I'm like, okay, I have this video already planned coming up so you can be a part of that video. I, I ask that because I feel like in today's age, I feel like the sponsorships are like, that's what you see. Like, we see even doing podcasts, it might be something different, but like, we see Million Dollars Per Game, they talking all they, this is sponsored by et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah. they're like, if you look at it, like, if you're like an old head like me or you just like the Joe Button podcast, you know that he don't even do sponsors at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you see certain people like going to sponsorship right because you can get money, but then yeah. you see other people like Joe Button like, nah, I don't, I'm not even doing that. There's a lot of YouTubers that are still millionaires on YouTube that do not take sponsorships at all. There's strictly a few people. from YouTube? Strictly from YouTube. Strictly from YouTube. People don't understand though that your YouTube, um, somebody who say, I make the same type of video as somebody who's in finance, right? Mm -hmm. I get a hundred thousand views on this video. He got thirty five thousand dollars views on thirty five thousand views on his video. He will probably make more money than me on AdSense because there are certain topics that make more money because ads pay more to be featured on that video. How would you know that? Is that something that you you would know? Or it's called like your CPM or your RPM or something on YouTube. So if your CPM is like like a finance person, theirs might be like. $25 but somebody that's in like beauty or lifestyle theirs might be like seven eight or nine so like L'Oreal or just any makeup brand pays less to be featured in beauty spons in beauty type videos than like lawyers or like finance people those type of ads pay pay to be on finance videos okay like Finance people make crazy money on YouTube. Even if you only have 5,000 followers, you can make a lot of money on YouTube just doing finance stuff. Damn. It's just, it just depends on whatever the topic of your video is, whichever sponsors are on your videos where you add the commercials at, whatever they're paying, that's that's what basically you're going to make. What about um, the length of the video? Do you get paid more for longer videos? You get paid more on longer videos because you can add more ads. So YouTube only lets you add a certain amount of ads if your video is under 10 minutes. Okay. So if your video is longer than 10 minutes, you can add more ads. So if your video is under 10 minutes, you can only have an ad in the beginning and the end, and I think one in the middle. I think it's one of them. I think they just started doing that. But if, you're at, if your video is longer than 10 minutes, you can have one at the beginning, one at the end, and however many you want in the middle. And you, But this is something that you can do manually. In, yeah, this is what you – you pick where your ads go. But how annoying is that, though? Like, do you want to – like, if I if I got a video, my, my podcast be like an hour, sometimes mm -hmm. two hours. Do I want to put it at every 20 minutes? You want to put it where it will be a normal break in the conversation. Okay. You can put as many, as long as it's not like in the middle of us talking and then it just cuts to an ad, you mm -hmm. know? Like mm -hmm. you actually need to watch your video and put your ad where it's like a actual pause in the conversation. Like you don't want to just 
say I'm put a, I'm put six ads, so I'm just gonna put them anywhere. You need to like make sure it's at a normal break in the conversation, because otherwise you're gonna be in the middle of talking and you're gonna be like, uh, an weird. ad is gonna come on in the middle of you talking and it's gonna be like, what? It's okay. not gonna make any sense. All right, so it's all about the ad placement when you talk about making money. Mm-hmm.